You look like you've got something to say. I have something to ask you. But I don't think I'll get a straight answer. Raccoon City. You know, after the incident, the world changed. You try to save one person, a hundred others die. I guess I changed too. <laughs> you? Leon S. Kennedy. You haven't changed. You just think you have. So here's my question. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? What do you think? We're here. Don't think too hard, handsome. See you later. Holy shit, how heavy was she? Story of my life. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Why would you assume that this was a way to get into this place? Man, they got like an oil refinery here. Such an industrialized place. What the fuck? Ashley. There you are. Okay, so in the original game was too long, in my opinion, anyway. At a certain point, the especially once Salazar was completed and beaten, and then you started having your codec calls with Sadler, the game started to feel like uh, it just keeps going, and like the codec calls with Sadler would just cheesy as fuck and for the shopkeeper here the code of calls with Sadler were just cheesy as fuck and the stuff just kept going on and on and it's like like what the what are we doing here and I was more or less ready for the game to end by the time we get to the island here or this oil refinery or something this game, I think, is a little bit paced, a little bit better. Salazar isn't defeated until, like, right before. And we're not in this weird constant communication with Sadler. So there's that. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I... Do I want to repair Got my... Some new ways. Welcome. I keep saying that, but I don't see what new stuff. What can I do you for? Unnecessary. That's good work, if I do say so myself. I got six of these now. Can I... What's that? How have we procured the comeback any time? But there's also the simple fact that a lot of the most memorable aspects of the original game... A lot of the most memorable aspects of the original game happened on this island with the oil refinery. Like the regenerators and stuff like that. So it seems a little, maybe it not quite fair to the game to say that this last leg of it is bad. But it is just a matter of fact that the game does feel, to me at least, just too long. Alright. What the hell did you just say? That sounded condescending as fuck. I mean, I'm going to get into a firefight eventually. But I would like to potentially... Oh, alright. 
Motherfucker didn't even see me. What the fuck? I'd like to get a few kills in before... Before the, uh... Shit hits the fan. It's another one of them monster, uh, monster halls where they'll just keep respawning. So you're never really going to be able to just kill everybody. I wonder if I can lead them into these guns and that will take them out. Have a green herb. Where you at? Come on now. You know, I mean, I was. I'd mentioned before, and like, even though she was maybe showing a little bit more emotion there, I'm still not fond of the portrayal of Ada in this game. You need to get the impression that she at least is a person, person with emotions, even if she doesn't actually give a shit about Leon. That is absolutely not the impression I get from this game. It's too bad you don't get, like, a silencer option or anything for your your assault rifle. Being able to pop these guys off from a distance, I mean, it would change the gameplay quite significantly. Really emphasizing the stealth aspects of it, rather than just... Damn it. Fuck. Alright. Whoa! It's the laser pig. Let's try something. I'm just wondering if it's possible for me to lead them back in this direction and then have this gun over here take them out. If I can do that, that would be awesome. I don't think it can work. I don't think they'll follow me all the way back here. No, they're not following me. No, they're not following me. Come on, man. Let me take advantage of you. <laughs> okay, alright. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Maybe I can do the same thing with some of the other guns, though. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, they lost track of me. They lost track of me. Now you're dead. How do you like that shit? What 
What about Jose Cuervo? I'm not gonna waste a asshole. <laughs> Next. You know, it, this seems like a pretty good, uh, good way to hold them up. <laughs> I thought I could do it with the guns. Yeah, there's more. I missed him. <laughs> you know, I remember this being a bit of a difficult thing when I went through it before, but just making him climb this stupid fucking ladder. How many times you gotta get shot in the head, bro? Where are you coming from? Who invited you? I hear more. You know, you kind of do take some of the fun out of the game by doing shit like this. Idiot. Whoa! Fuck. Alright, come on. Come on out here and we'll do this. Payday! Although I have lost some of my, uh... Lost some of my bolts. And I hear a dude wandering around out here somewhere. I don't know where he is. You go down in one shot. You tell me you can't climb through that? <laughs> Should be able to climb through that fucking window. Yeah, you know, this is so weird that they got this ultra industrialized thing here with all these. Um, like the village nearby, which I would assume would have been the employees of this. Oh, fuck. How do I get through here? All right, I'm I fucked this up. Which I would have assumed were the employees of this oil refinery. They live in such a rural place, like a just a real shithole, like something 
Like, not the Amish. I mean, they're working at a damn oil refinery and they're living like... They're living like it's uh, the Middle Ages in some ways. I want these the bow gun bolts. Come on. That should let me through. Oh, that's what happened. I pushed the button again to move the gun, thinking that it would take out the Ganados that were chasing me. Is there anything here that I can pick up? Nope. Alright, yeah, I know, you're... Whoa! Didn't work out quite as expected. Got no pistol ammo. I really have no pistol ammo. This is like the first time that's ever happened. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit. And some bolts. Or a bolt. And I still lost another one. Dipshit. Motherfucker. Come on, open your face. Open your face. Open your face. We have two bolts left. Really? Really? What's the helmet for? Living paycheck to paycheck, I swear. Who's making those noises? Ah, well, we're at the, about the 20-minute mark, so I should really close this episode out. Serves you right for being an idiot. Who's talking? Yeah. Oh, this caves. These caves. It's a pain in the ass. Do I have a knife? Yeah, I do have a knife. You think I'd be able to... Oh, wait, no, I can't drop down there because that's where I've already been. I'm down, bro. What are you, taking a shit? With your pants on? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. 
I don't know what parasite-infected Spaniards do in their spare time. I do have some questions about the personal hygiene of the people that live in this village. Yellow herb. I think that might have been the yellow herb in my first playthrough that resulted in me having more health, more uh, maximum health than is can be obtained normally. Uh, all right, that's just the way forward. So, does this? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's a secret treasure room. Oh, golden links. That's got to be worth something. Oh, oh, I'm at 21 minutes. All right, so I really have to have the episode now. Shit's about to get real when we move on to the sex next section, though, so it'd be a good place to... Oh, shit, they're chasing me already. Ah. Oh, they have metal shields. Wow. Metal helmets. Twisty son of a bitch. All right, really, end it now. Ha, ha, ha.